Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this one is super exciting just like all of them always are all the time. Always. Today's video is going to be my first anti-haul and I'm really excited about this and I know that's like like you're excited to tell everybody what you don't want to buy but I'm excited because I feel like there's a lot of stuff coming out especially now that it's like holiday season and we've got like all the holiday kits coming out. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I just I really don't want to buy. Let me start off by saying if this stuff interests you or if you want to buy it or if you did buy it, don't take this like in any type of offensive way. And I'm sure that there's plenty of things that I've purchased that you guys are not interested in or plenty of videos that I've done that you guys are not interested in. So like don't feel, don't feel offended if I'm talking about something that you like or that you want. So with that being said, let us jump into it. I'm just going to read off of my phone because that's where I have my little note of all the stuff that I'm not gonna buy. The first thing that I will not be buying or have not bought and probably will never buy, okay, that's not true, that's not true. If something comes out that really interests me, maybe, but thus far nothing has. I will not be purchasing anything from KKW Beauty and I have not purchased anything from KKW Beauty. And the reason for that is very simple. I just am not attracted to anything in the brand. I didn't care for the contour sticks. I didn't care for the contour kits. And I don't care for the fragrances or what else did she come out with? Or is she coming out with like the pigments that match the lip glosses? Like I'm just really uninterested in all of those products. So. Thus far, I have not purchased anything from KKW Beauty, and I I don't foresee, I mean, if all the products that have already come out are so uninteresting and unappealing to me, I don't foresee that they're gonna get much better from here. But I mean, if they do, you know, I'm not opposed to it. I actually have a lot of palettes on this list, which I just realized right now, but I wanna talk about three palettes, kinda lump them together next. Um, these are the Too Faced White Chocolate Palettes, the Too Faced Clover Palette, and the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, I think is what it's called. Those three palettes, I'm going to put pictures of everything somewhere. I don't know what side it's going to be on, but one of these sides. So you can see, because obviously I don't have them to show you, but these three palettes... I am just so uninterested in. Honestly, Too Faced as a whole, their palettes are just starting to really bore me, and I know that sounds like so bad like I did a full face of Too Faced makeup which I'll link down below not too long ago and I did really like that look and I do like some of their products the Clover palette like that to me it's just I just feel like I'm 12 years old trying to play with makeup the white chocolate bar I feel like it just has really like plain light boring colors and then the chocolate bar gold I feel like it just it has four mattes first of all and the rest are shimmers like, what? I need like a thousand mattes and like two shimmers. That's that's how I need to live my life. Like right now I'm wearing like an all matte eye. That's like what I like. I need a thousand mattes. And on top of that, I just feel like the metallic colors in that palette are not anything special that I don't own or that I can't find elsewhere. So for that reason, those three palettes will not be in my collection. And that's nothing against Too Faced, personally. I mean, of course, none of these things that I'm not purchasing is because I have a problem with the brand. It's just because I don't find any interest in them. I'm, I personally like a lot of things from a lot of these brands. So just these are just, they're just not there. The next thing I'm not purchasing, I feel like I'm kind of late on this, but the Fenty Beauty Holiday Collection or the Stunna Lip Paint. So the Stunna Lip Paint is just like a matte liquid lipstick. It's in a red color. And the Fenty Holiday Collection, you guys have seen, it's like that whole galaxy theme. I am just not interested in any of that and this is saying a lot because I'm obsessed with Rihanna if you guys know me at all oh my god I'm obsessed with her she is like she is like Beyonce to me okay better than Beyonce to me don't argue about that in the comment section the reason I'm not purchasing any of these things the stunner lip paint I'm not purchasing because I have 20 trillion red lips and I feel like I never wear a red lip in general so I just I I don't need it I don't need it it's a beautiful color but I don't need it and the Galaxy collection just doesn't interest me at all. There is literally 0% of that collection that I am interested in. I don't care for the liquid liners that transform or whatever. I don't care about that. I don't care about the palette, especially that palette. I It hurts me that I'm so uninterested in that palette. It's just it's too expensive for what it is, first of all. And on top of that, I just feel... I say that a lot, don't I? I do say that a lot. I just feel like... 
I don't need a $59 palette that has all shimmer shadows. That's just that's just not what I'm interested in. All the shimmer shadows that I could possibly need, I'm sure that I have. And I just, I'm just, I'm just not here for it. Speaking of holiday collections, I will not be purchasing anything from the Kylie Cosmetics holiday collection. Like, not one thing. I was, like, really close to picking up one thing and then... I didn't and I'm glad that I didn't. I don't need another red lip like I just said and the two palettes to me they are just they're not different enough from each other in my opinion and as like a whole each one just I'm just so not inspired when I look at it. I need to look at a palette and say oh my god like I know what I'm gonna do with that with that with that with that and I just feel like I don't get that from either of those palettes and what else I don't really care for the little mini lip set thingies so I'm just not picking up anything from this collection. I love Kylie Cosmetics. You guys know that I do. I love the formula of their liquid lips. I love the formula of the one eyeshadow palette that I own. I, I usually love the products that she comes out with. Just not this time. Another palette that I will not be picking up is the NARS Wanted palette. That's their newest palette. And I'm not picking that up because it reminds me so much of the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I feel like I said Urban Decay weird. Urban Decay Naked Heat. I love my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, don't get me wrong, I think that's a really really good palette, but the Wanted palette looks freaking identical. It looks the exact same and like why do I need two of those, especially when they're like $54 and $59. I don't need it. Usually NARS eyeshadows are not my favorite. I know that these are reformulated, but I'm just, I just don't care. I, I just really don't care. I love warm eyeshadows, obviously I'm literally wearing red and orange. like. Like red, straight up red, straight up orange on my eyes today. So I love warm eyeshadows. By the way, I do have a tutorial for a look extremely similar to this. It's like, like one eyeshadow is not the same, but it's almost the exact same thing. So I'm going to link it down below just in case you're curious. Um, but everything that I am wearing today is also going to be linked down below, like always. But I just, I feel like I have so many warm eyeshadows in my collection. Like, I... I'm over it. I don't need to see any more warm eyeshadow palettes. I need something different, something special, something that inspires me a little bit more. So this does not do it for me. So mama is going to skip out on that. So moving on to palette 476. The next palettes that I am not getting are the Mothership palettes by Pat McGrath. These palettes are so expensive. They are like a lot of dollars and I am not here for it. I feel like there's really not a theme going on. I feel like they just have some golds here, some greens here, like two mattes in each palette, which I can never be okay with. And I just, I just don't want it. I know Pat McGrath is like, you know, a professional makeup artist. She does like all the celebrities makeup and she's like super cool. And I do really think that her makeup is amazing, but that doesn't mean I'm going to spend $125 on a palette. Some more palettes. I honestly, I only really shop for eyeshadow palettes, I feel like. I feel like I never purchase anything but eyeshadow palettes. So that's why this is all eyeshadow palettes. But the next one that I'm not purchasing is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. For the exact same reason that I'm not purchasing the NARS Wanted Palette. It's enough. It's enough with the warm eyeshadows. I feel like this was a good chance for Tarte to come out with like a really good Tartlet Palette. I love their Tartlet Palettes. You guys know that their Tartist Pro Palette is my freaking favorite. And I really like the Tartlet palettes in general. So when I saw they were coming out the new one, I was like, yes, it's lit. Let's do it. But it just warm eyeshadows are just so played out. Like, I have enough. I don't need any more. Please stop coming out with them. Come out with something special, something new, something fresh. I, I'm just not interested in this. And on top of that, this has no matte black. Like, how am I supposed to be okay with that? No, but in all seriousness, I, I just feel really uninspired when I look at this palette. It looks like a really... Like an everyday palette, something you want to use daily if you're not a psychopath like me and like to do these kind of looks. But like I said, that's just not what I'm into. That's just not what I like to do. And if I want a warm eyeshadow look that is neutral, I have 375 eyeshadows that I can use for that. So just it's just not worth it for me. The next palette that I am not picking up is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I... I just cannot justify spending $130 or something like that on a palette of all purple eyeshadows when I feel like I barely wear purple eyeshadows to begin with. I don't really feel inspired when I look at the palette. There's only like two mattes in it. It's just... I, I have the Sunset palette and I like that palette a lot, but I don't reach for it enough to justify purchasing a similar 
kind of layout of a palette. The colors are obviously not similar, but you know what I'm saying. And on top of that, although Natasha Denona makes really good eyeshadows, they are not my favorite. They're not my The final palette that I will not be picking up, I will not, I can assure you this will never end up in my collection, is the Kat Von D Saint Center palette. Now, I really like Kat Von D as a brand. I like Kat Von D as a person, if I'm being honest with you. Kat Von D is like, me gusta. But, the problem with this, with this for me is, A, it's gigantic. It's like a big old palette, and I am so tired of these gigantic palettes. Like, I don't have anywhere to put you. Stop being so big. I just don't find myself reaching for the last holiday palette that I purchased, which was the Mavita Loca Remix, which I love that palette. But I don't find myself reaching for that one. And this one is $62. And if I don't find myself reaching for that one, why would I pick up this one? It just makes no sense. If I want any of those colors, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have it in my collection. Or if I don't have it in my collection, I don't need it in my collection. So I will not be picking that up, even though I was like this close. But I'm not doing it, I promise. Another thing I'm not picking up from Kat Von D is the Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. It has three highlighters in it and the reason I'm not picking it up is I just really don't want it. I just really don't want it. Like, I just really don't want it. It has a pink shade, I'm pretty sure, like a peach kind of a shade. And the pink, I'm pretty sure, is like a lavender pink. Like, it's super intense. And I just, like, I have enough of that. I don't need any more of those. Come out with, like, some normal color highlighters because that's really what I wear. I wear those, like, weird color highlighters, like, once a year. If I'm doing, like, a super purple, like, monochromatic look, I'll throw on, like, a lavender highlight. But that's it. Like, on an everyday basis, I want something more like this, something more, you know, natural. Something that looks like actual skin could be glowing like that, even though it's obvious that mine is not. That's what I want. That's... That's what I'm looking for. So come out with that, and then we'll talk. I only have two things left to talk about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to tell you guys about why I don't like these things. <laughs> the next thing that I will not be picking up is also a highlighter, and this is the Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. That thing freaks me out, okay? It looks... It's, like, disturbing to me. Like, what the... What are you doing with this? You're just, like shaking it and it's like ugh, like and I don't want that on my face please get that away from me I am <laughs> I am so uninterested like when I first saw this was coming out I was like oh that's like a really intense highlight but then I saw the actual product and I, I was just like no no please please get that away from me if I I think if I ever see that in person I might throw up it just looks so like it looks like jello like ugh, I don't want to put jello on my what Who, whose idea was this last thing that I will not be picking up is an entire collection. It is the Makeup Geek Flawlessly Ever After collection, the entire collection. I do not want any part of it. The reason I don't want it is not because I don't like Makeup Geek. I love Makeup Geek. I love her products. I have so many ones of them. <laughs> I have so many of them. And all the ones that I have, I really, really love. They're such good quality. Marlena really knows how to develop makeup. I think like she was meant to do that my problem is i already own like those kinds of products like there are sets that are like already made to be for your skin tone so i already own enough of the makeup geek products in that kind of range if that makes sense i own a lot of blushes from makeup geek i own all the contour palettes i mean the contour pans from makeup geek i own so many of their eyeshadows so it's just like i don't need these pre-made sets that are gonna have things that I already have. Like, I'm 99.9% .9 positive there's gonna be at least one product that is gonna overlap with something I already own. And I think it's a good idea if you don't own anything from Makeup Geek. So, if you don't have like a gigantic collection of Makeup Geek eyeshadows or Makeup Geek contours, I think this is something you might wanna consider because it's a really good bundle and it's already pre made to look good on you. So, I think that's pretty good. But if you already own a lot of stuff from Makeup Geek, this, I think it just should be like an easy pass because like you already have so much of it. So that is it for my anti-haul, even though that was the longest anti-haul ever. I really love watching anti-hauls. That's why I decided to film this one, obviously. Um, and did you guys notice? I just put my tree up today. You can't see the tip, but the star is like all the way up there. But look, I put my tree up. I got my snowman hanging out. I'm so festive. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Don't forget to leave me a comment on any of the things that you are not picking up. I'm like actually really, really interested to know what you guys are seeing coming out and what you are so not into. I don't know why 
I just really like to know. I do. So that's all I have to say for today's video. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my November favorites. Kind of like a November. And